اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم لیٹ سی دا سگنیفیکنٹ ایونٹس ڈیورنگ دا کوارٹر پرٹیکولی دی ٹیکسیز بیکاز ٹیکس نارملی پیڈ ایٹ دی اینڈ آف دا ایئر بٹ وی مسٹ سی ہاؤ مچ پروفٹ وی میڈ اینڈ واٹ ٹیکس امپیکٹ کین بی سملرلی دا پروویژن وی آر میکنگ ایٹ دی اینڈ آف دا ایئر وی نیڈ ٹو میک پروویژن فار دا کوارٹر آلسو بونس از ہیئر از اے پرابلم بیکاز بونس از از نارملی اینڈ آف دا ایئر ناٹ کوارٹرلی تو وی مسٹ ٹیک کیئر دیٹ آلسو کنٹینجنسی ایف دیر از اینی کنٹینجنسی ایف سم تھنگ از گوئنگ ٹو ہیپن فیوچر تو یو مسٹ کیپ ان مائنڈ دیٹ آلسو انوینٹریز یوزلی واٹ وی ڈو اباؤٹ انوینٹری وی ڈو اسٹاپ ٹیکنگ ایوری ایئر اینڈ بٹ کوارٹر بیس فار دا پرپز آف کوارٹر وی نیڈ ٹو ڈو دی اسٹاپ ٹیکنگ ایٹ دی کوارٹر اینڈ then foreign currency translations gain and losses if there is any impairment of assets in case there is an impairment of any assets that should also be taken into account accounting policy that is also very important thing whatever accounting policy you follow for the year the same accounting policies should be continuing for the quarters also now in term financial reports covered period of less than 1 year although it, it it can be monthly but it can be quarterly it can be half yearly but generally it is recommended that it should be quarterly each quarter you need to produce an account that will be required that all limited companies registered on stock exchange should produce quarterly account because they are supposed to complete the quarterly account and publish it let the shareholders let the chief operating decision makers understand what is going on in the business it can be quarterly half yearly comparative also as i said and real comparative means same quarter if it is quarter number 1 the this year the quarter number 1 of last year should be compared now there are two view point regarding interim reports one is called a uh, discrete approach what is this discrete approach this holds that each interim period should be treated as a separate accounting period you assume as if this is the accounting year end as a year end although it is not year end but we must and we must hold we must understand okay if this is the year end that what is going to be the performance second one is integral approach is that the interim report is an integral part of the annual report and deferrals and accruals should take into consideration what will happen for the entire year you know if you are taking as an integral approach it means that you are supposed to take whatever you do at the year end similar exercise you have to do in the end of the quarter also so that you can have all those adjustments which is required at the year end then you should have in the quarter end as well i just require to use the discrete approach because we don't need we don't need here a uh, lot of stuff we need condensed that's why we should we should just brief the whatever we are reporting we should be brief companies should use the same accounting policies for interim period and those used for the annual report it's a very very clear that you need to follow I mean, whatever accounting policy you adopt first then you keep following the same policy you cannot change simply year quarter to quarter policies or even year to year policy because if you need to change then you need to justify it why you are going to change all four financial statements should be prepared with notes as well although they said that you need to prepare income statement you need to prepare balance sheet also you need to prepare cash flow statement you need to prepare change in equity statement also but generally people are interested in your performance and performance can be watched by two things number one the income statement and number two the cash flow statement they are the two very important one but uh, normally people prepare these two or some people all of four but publish is normally balance sheet and uh, your final uh, income statement is does not require a complete set of financial statements at the interim period date یعنی نوٹس ٹو دی اکاؤنٹس ڈیٹیل میں نہیں چاہیے بریف بس اتنا ہو کہ سمجھ میں آ جائے کہ آپ کے کوارٹر کی پرفارمنس کیا ہے 
Rather, companies may comply with the requirements of providing condensed financial statements and selected explanatory notes. Clearly, not detailed, just brief. Now, there are unique problems, and particularly the income tax. Question arise if you are preparing the quarterly accounts and you are taking the sales, cost of sales, interest expense, and all that. What about the tax? So you need to determine the tax also effect if what can be the tax impact if we are preparing the if, if, we, if our business is giving this much profit, we can make some adjustment to it and then find out what can be our tax on this profit. So that should also be taken into account. Seasonality, that's also very important. In certain quarters, you have a big sales, and in certain quarter you have a small sale. And in, for example, Eid ke dino mein logo ki sales bhar jati hai, aur Eid na ho to sales kam ho jati hai. Isi tarah dekhna padega ki seasonality ke hisab se. To humne jo kaha lag shuru mein ki aapne agar is quarter first quarter ka banana hai, to ag pichle saal ka bhi first quarter hi le, taake season ke hisab se wo comparative ban jaye. Provision, bonuses, pensions. Depreciations and amortization inventories and fair value interim period manufacturing cost variances impairment of assets contingency income taxes all this should be taken into account they are the unique problem but still we must consider them because if you want to show something to your shareholders to the readers then they you should make sure that this should be taken into account interim report do not require an audit usually. It is not audited. Normally, we mention on the top that they are unaudited. Now, there are some companies who get their accounts audit, but not always. But they are not required by law that their interim account should be audited. That's why we report clearly that these are unaudited accounts. Thank you very much.